Hi everybody, it's Coach Beto. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to resubmit an assignment or how to retake a quiz. So the first thing you want to do is log into the course and then find your toolbar. Either at the very top, I know I've covered this before, you can turn on these buttons on the left hand side or you can use this top main menu. If you want to turn on the buttons like I have here, you'll go over to your carrot next to your name and click your account preferences and turn on sidebar navigation. Um, you can watch that in the navigation video 101 that's uh, at the beginning of the course and also on the announcement page if you need to follow that along a little closer. But for this one, I really want to focus in on how to resubmit those assignments. So what you'll do is go to your gradebook. Once you go to your gradebook, you'll open it up and you're going to want to take a look at the assignments that you have taken already. Now remember that in gradebook you're going to see access to everything versus assessments which you're only going to see in the first time. Um, in my first video I tell you to always use gradebook, just forget about the assessments being there at all uh, and get in that habit and this is one of the reasons why. Students often will go into assessments and go I can't see that assignment anymore um, and I can't fix it or resubmit. That's exactly the issue. You've got to make sure that you're going into gradebook. Again, you can get to Gradebook on the blue buttons here or on your top bar here, and you can go to Gradebook. All right, so once you're in Gradebook, you can always see your information, your grade, your percentage, and uh, mine's a little different. Yours will show what week number you're in the class. Uh, mine doesn't show that because I'm the instructor, but it will let me show you the rest of this. So here we are taking a look at my Gradebook, and I notice that uh, I want to resubmit something. My wellness plan here, I forgot to include something, even though it's green and it's great grade. Let's talk about how we resubmit. So I'm going to click on the assignment. Once it opens up, all I can do is I'm going to resubmit it. I need to reattach a file. That's not a problem. I can easily upload a new file. Add files. Pick your file that you want to add. Um, click Submit for Grading. That button will then change to submit for grading and you can resubmit it. Simple. That's how you resubmit your assignments. That works up to three times so you can do the assignment the first time and then have two corrections and then I will grade it. Alright, it'll also show in my gradebook that you have resubmitted it. So that's how you resubmit something that you would attach. Let's talk about quizzes for a minute. First off, the pretest cannot be retaken. They are only worth one point so there's no worry about that. It is a pretest. We don't expect those to be great grades. We just expect them to be completed for you to get that, that assignment out of the way, kind of as an introduction to the module. So again, pretest can be opened once and taken once only, so be sure when you open it to take it, not to lock yourself out of it. Let's talk about regular quizzes. So 102 and 104, both of these are quizzes. I can see on this 102 quiz that I got an 80%. Now, if I'm at the very end or if I'm really struggling and know there was something I missed, I can retake this quiz. But just know that you're going to get whatever grade you on, your, on the last assignment that you get will be the final grade you get. So if you take an 80 and you retake it and you get a 60 and you retake it again and you get an 80, you'll end up with that 80. But if you take it and you have an 80 the first time, a 60 the second time, and a 60 the third time, you do end up with that 60. It's not the best of, so make sure if you're retaking something to reread the material before retaking it to better your chances at increasing your grade. So let's talk about this one down here. I got a zero. How did I get a zero? I must have not been paying attention. I didn't read something right. I didn't read the lesson and took the quiz first. For whatever reason, I need to retake this quiz. A zero is a no-go. All right, so what I'm going to do is simply click the assignment, and then you can see right here it says exam 104. If you would like to take this exam again, you can reset the exam and take it again. That is that simple. You are allowed to reset this exam two more times. So remember, that's that three in total. So if I want to reset it, it's going to ask me why, and I'm going to say to get a better grade. This also works if you were timed out or your computer died. Put whatever reason it is and then confirmed, delete my submission. And then it'll reset that, that quiz. The page will reset. Slowly but surely, it'll get there and you'll go back to your gradebook and you'll see that you can retake that quiz. So here I am, I'm in that quiz again and I am ready to take it. I wanna make sure that I do better this time so I've read my material and then again, submitting it at the bottom. So that's the basics on how you retake it. 
You can go back to gradebook. You don't have to take that exam right that minute, but you can take it immediately if you want. Otherwise, you can access it again later. So you can see here it kind of disappeared. That 104 goals quiz that I had a zero on, I have an NA there, so I know I've taken it, but I want to retake it. So I might want to reread the lesson first if I didn't take it right away. So that is how you resubmit assignments and how you retake quizzes. The big key here is making sure that you go in through gradebook. Take a minute, subscribe to the channel, let me know if there's other videos that you would like to see or other questions that you have on the site. Whatever I can help you navigate, I'm here to help and help you do that. All right, you guys have a great day.